Presented at the École de Beaux Arts in Paris, Karl Lagerfeld's collection for Chanel was Featherlight, an ode to one fabric in particular, black silk tulle. Made specially for the house by a mill in Lyon, the city in France, whose renown for silk making goes back centuries, as it was no longer available through normal production. Tulle, a lightweight, fine knitting fabric, has a rich history that spans centuries. Named after the city of Tulle in southern France, where it was first produced, Tulle has evolved from a practical fabric for protective garments to a symbol of elegance and luxury in fashion. Tulle fabric originated in France, where the city of Tulle became a center for lace and netting production. The lace makers of Tulle developed a fine net fabric that mimicked the intricate look of lace, but was less expensive and easier to produce. In the late 18th century, tulle became increasingly popular for veils, trims, and decorative elements on garments. Tulle gained prominence in fashion during the Victorian era. Queen Victoria's wedding in 1840 played a key role in popularizing tulle for bridal wear, when she wore a white tulle wedding dress, which has since become a classic bridal fabric. During this time, Tulle was used for veils, gowns, and petticoats, creating a romantic and ethereal silhouette for women's fashion. In summary, tulle has a long history, beginning as a practical lace-like netting and evolving into one of the most recognizable and elegant fabrics in fashion. From its 18th century roots to its continued, Talking about Chanel 1991 fashion show, the designer used miles and miles of black tulle in jackets, dresses, skirts, and coats. The great advantage is that it keeps you very warm since it's real silk, even though it's very light, Lagerfeld told, promising that his draped tulle coats were as warm as furs. With all this weightless, pleated tulle, my clients will be floating in clouds, Lagerfeld declared, christening the airy and elegant silhouette of the collection. It's for the city ballerina, who skates through the daily boredom of life and floats through the mystery, in this case not in ballet shoes but flat, clear plastic boots. Models talked down the catwalk to a rap remix of, these boots are made for walking. The dramatic hats created by milliner, Philip Tracy, also focused on tulle, occasionally pairing it with feathers or plastic to create such arresting designs as the Chanel head cage, the Viking, with feather horns attached to the crown by two camellias, and the see-through with a clear plastic brim. Chanel's Fall Winter 1991 Haute Couture Collection, designed by Karl Lagerfeld, paid homage to the classic elegance of the Chanel brand while pushing the boundaries of haute couture with modern and innovative elements. Lagerfeld expertly reinterpreted Chanel's timeless codes, such as the signature tweed suits, little black dresses, pearls, and camellias, while infusing contemporary flair into the designs. This collection is remembered for its luxurious fabrics, intricate embellishments, and sharp tailoring, but it also included more extravagant, theatrical pieces that showcased Lagerfeld's talent for blending tradition with modernity. The show featured dramatic capes, oversized jewelry, and bold shoulders, highlighting Lagerfeld's flair for experimentation within Chanel's iconic aesthetic. 
there was a distinct contrast between the structured and architectural silhouettes, and the fluidity of more feminine, flowing garments. And I think it was great, 